we had last left the chosen one. They continued their thrilling exploration of New Reno. It was filled with more drugs, more human rights violations, and more strange goings on with the crime families involved. This time it was the Wright family who were family in the strictest of terms, but also did have their similar disputes. And so the chosen one agreed to investigate a strange occurrence with the Mordino family and the Wrights. Also, the head matriarch of the Mordino family was getting up to some wild shit. <laughs> this is Fallout 2. Welcome back. Let's get to it. Let's head on back over to the Desperado, I think. Right? If we fully investigate everything in this section? I mean, there are still these two buildings. I guess we can take a peek real quick. It seems highly unlikely, but we may as well do it. Right? There we are. Good, good, good. Check on inside of this. Anything? Nope. Nothing. And we'll peek inside of here. And you know what? Yeah, nothing. We can exit through this and just warp back to Virgin Street or whatever it's called. Yeah. Good. Okay. Do we have anything that we need to stash? I don't think so. Okay. Good. I do want to, before we forget, definitely go back for the electronic lockpick situation, you know? Alright. Here's the Desperado. Better do a quick save, just in case we run into deep doo-doo. Great. Okay. So, who exactly should we talk to? I guess the guy here on the bottom floor, right? One of the younger Mordino family members. Find out who was responsible for Richard Wright's overdose. Yeah. I'm guessing it's probably Lil Jesus, right? If I had to guess. Okay, let's see what's up. Hey, 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 you're chosen one. The big old fighter. Man, you're good. Thanks, little Jesus. Hey, I had some questions for you. Thanks for the compliment. I was just stopping by. I have to be going. Thanks, little Jesus. I had some questions for you. Something on your mind? What was that you were saying about the Mordino family again? What is there to do around New Reno to relax? You know anything about Richard Wright overdosing on Jet? Let's get right to it, I guess. That little piss-ass Wright kid? <laughs> You trying to pin that shit on me? You out of luck. I ain't sorry the little fucker's dead, but I didn't have nothing to do with it. Oh yeah? Well, the Mordinos are the biggest suppliers of jet in New Reno. That makes you the first ones who are going to take the blame. I don't believe you. I think you are the one responsible. You and the rest of the Mordinos. Who do you figure might have done it? Okay, look. Had some other questions. All right, then. Just asking. Let's do this. If they want to deflect blame, let's give them an out. That makes you the first ones who are going to take the blame. Eyes narrow. Look now, I, ha I ain't had nothing to do with that kid's death. I don't know what you heard, but if I'd killed that kid, I would have carved him up. Not made him crash and burn on jet, see? You're a real humanitarian, Jesus. You know who sold Richard the jet that killed him? Well, that certainly clears matters up for me. I had some other questions. Thanks for the information, Jesus. You've been very helpful. You know who sold Richard the jet that killed him? Yeah, Renezco, the rocket man. Sells so much jet he could shoot you to the moon. He's on the west side. In Salvatore's territory. He don't like the rights, none, and his drugs ain't pure. Know what I'm saying? He can't be the only dealer in a town this size. West side, huh? I might stop by. I had some other questions, though. Alright, I'll check it out. Thanks, Jesus. He can't be the only dealer in a town this size. 
Now, there's others, but Renesco's the one who done it. What makes you say that? Who are the other dealers? Yeah, you said that already. Look, I had some other questions. All right, Jesus, thanks for the info. What makes you say that? Because he's a half-blind cracker with a mean streak a mile wide that sells bad shit. That's fucking why. You go see him. You see what he says about the right kid. And then you'll see I'm right. What other dealers are there? Uh, there's Jules, front of town, peddles mostly to newcomers. And Jagged Jimmy J, up on 2nd Street by the gym. Can't miss that punk ass because he cut his face up one night while on jet. So bad his entire face is all scars. What makes you think Renesco is responsible? Interesting. I had some other questions. Renesco, Jules, and Jagged Jimmy J. Got it. Thanks for the information. What makes you think Renesco is responsible? Okay, it's looping. What other dealers? Thanks for the information. But Jules is pieced out, right? So we better hope it wasn't Jules. <laughs> I guess we can go up here and over to Jagged Jimmy J. And get some information. May as well. Right, this is, yeah, Jagged Jimmy J. Alright. Actually, here before... Oh. Kid! You'd be, or knew you'd be back. No, it didn't Jagged Jimmy J say that it would be that way. Keep them happy and they'll never let you down. So my pilot friend, what can Jagged Jimmy J do for you today? <laughs> I forgot what kind of voice we gave him, but it was a weirdo one. You got Jet? Well then, let's deal, friend. How you get that scar, Jimmy? Where do you get your Jet, Jimmy? You know who gave that right kid the jet that killed him? You said before your jet was the safest. There isn't any bad jet floating around, is there? Nothing today. Thanks, Jimmy. Let's start with this. There isn't any bad jet floating around out there, is there? Hey, you look familiar to Jimmy. Do I know you? My pilot friend? I fought in the boxing ring. How can one truly know another, Jimmy? Is it even possible while we are on this mortal coil? Or is it only possible when we free ourselves from our physical bodies? No, I don't think so, Jimmy. We here to deal, or what? No, I don't think so. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. No, I gotta go. Catch you later, Jimmy. I found the boxing ring. That's it! I knew I'd seen you somewhere before! Damn, why didn't you pull from the start? Put Jimmy in his place. Now, what can I do for you? What the fuck? He just, he just deflected big time. All right, I wanted something else. Okay. You know who gave that right kid the jet that killed him? Ah, oh, so now it comes out, does it? You want to know if old Jimmy got something to do with that, huh? No, I was just ask. All right, never mind. We gonna deal? Look, I had some other questions. Thanks for the tip, Jimmy. I'd better be good. I was just ask. Fuck you! I sell clean shit. You want to know who poisoned that right kid? You go ask that old fool Renesco, or that weasel Jules, and see what they say. Okay, okay, calm down. All right, never mind that. We gonna deal? All right, all right. Look, I had some other questions. Thanks for the tip, Jimmy. I better go. Okay, okay, calm down. You listen and you listen good. If I hear you were talking shit about me having anything to do with that right kid's death, I'll make sure you have a grave in Golgotha right next to him. Huh. No problem. Look, I had some other questions. Dead, huh? Like Richard. Easy, Jimmy. Nobody's going to be talking. I'm not going to say anything, Jimmy. I'm going now. See? I'm going. Dead, huh? Like Richard? Uh-oh. 
<laughs> he got mad about it. Oh, fuck. I mean, I don't think he did. Otherwise, like, why would he tell us about Golgotha? Hang on. Let's do a quick load. I don't want it to where we're fighting Jagged Jimmy J. Right, we'll just confront him again and then uh, let him slide. I do think, though, we should go see Richard Wright's grave and dig it up. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Yep, yada yada. I'm from the boxing ring. All right. Want something else? Okay, I was just going to ask. Okay, okay, calm down. Okay. Easy, Jimmy. Nobody's going to be talking. Huh. Weird. All right. Can we exit to the world map from here? Yeah, we can go all the way up this way. It's definitely pointing in the direction of Renesco, but I don't know if I'm going to need, like, hard evidence to confront Renesco with it. Okay. There we are. There's Golgotha. Oh shit, we don't have the car. That's fine, it's incredibly close by. Alright. Which one looks like it's Jimmy, or... <laughs> uh, what's his fucking name? Richard Wright. Okay. No, I, I feel like it was around this section, you know? Dennis Presnell. Okay, where's another one? Moose. It's marked out. T-Ray. David Hendy. Rupert Diokos. Diokos. Jesse Reynolds, John Doe. John Doe. That was the one we dug up. Nick Kesting. Jay Potato Feet. Okay. Doing anything useful. John Strange. Jonathan Blake. Told you I was sick. John Walters. It says trash. Uh, it's a cross. It says trash. Okay, Rob Giampa. William Liebus. Hmm. Scratched out. Did we read this one? Yeah, John Strange. Doug Avery. Richard Wright. Awesome. Okay. Or I guess I, I should be able to, yeah, just use the bag icon. Is there so supposed to be nobody in there? You have discovered Richard Wright was poisoned. You examine Richard Wright's grave. A foul stench emanates from the body. That stench coming from the body is rad scorpion venom. This kid lo didn't look like he died of jet overdose. He was poisoned. Oh, fuck. I did not realize red scorpion poison made you stinky. Okay. Wow. Well, it was definitely worth doing that. Hmm. Still, it doesn't rule out Renesco. We, we just have to find a uh, thing of poison or whatever, right? We should still pay Renesco a visit, however. See if their inventory here refreshed yet. I don't know how much time had passed. Let's see, barter. No. 
Nothing new whatsoever. Okay. Goodbye, thanks. Okay. Fair enough. Let's take a... Oh, look. It's what's-her-butt. Yeah, Mrs. Wright. Okay. You see a plump, rosy-cheeked woman. She seems to be in good spirits and is humming to herself. All right. She's sighing. I guess we'll check in with her after this. All right, Renesco. Look, I'm a busy man. Did you sell Jet to Richard Wright? Don't even try and pin that accusation on me. You want to know who did it? Ask Tweedledum and Tweedledumer if they are still selling Jet laced with arsenic. Tweedledum and Tweedledumer? Who are they? I don't think it was arsenic. I do think he was poisoned, though. Oh, uh, we have to go with the reactivity. Poisoned? What are you babbling on about? The body's condition was consistent with Rad Scorpion poisoning. I think he died because his jet was poisoned, not because of an overdose. Hmm. Do you think we only were able to make that observation because we got our first aid or whatever high enough? Like, if our stats were too low, is there a world in which we dug up the body but couldn't piece it together? Okay. I do I do really enjoy all of the different skill reactivity, right? I really like that. But I almost feel like um, the game is doing itself a disservice by whenever it does shit like that, it should signpost it, right? Because as a player, it feels really fucking good, right? And like we chase this kind of shit all the time in other games, right? And certainly these days, it's a staple. Like they, it, it gets done all the time. But whenever you meet or miss a check, it would be so great if the game gave you feedback to let you know that rather than just running the check in the background and not letting you know at all that you passed or failed something, you know? Like, like I do enjoy that it's there, like I said, but like... Like, yeah, yeah, the game is just doing itself a disservice. Like, like it feels so much better when the player is aware, I feel, right? I don't know. Th this is another weird instance of, um... Fallout 1 had a bit of this, right? Like, a small amount of it. But definitely not to this degree. Right? So it, it, it didn't really come up as, like, an interesting point that it doesn't signpost it as much. In fact, maybe it did signpost it a fair amount. You know? No, there because there was, um, the Thieves Guild or whatever. Right? In Fallout 1. That wasn't necessarily signposted. You just either got a quest from them or didn't, depending on at least one of your, like, thieving stats, right? I don't know. I mean, I feel... I, there's also, like, the dumb dialogue and stuff, right? Which you, you ultimately do end up piecing together. But certainly by the time, like, New Vegas comes around, they do reinforce the, like, player feedback loop with regards to your stats having an impact on branching dialogue, right? It seems like just a straight-up improvement, you know? Which, fair enough, right? This is like... Like, Fallout 2 and 1 especially. Like, this is very early in this sort of, like, video game, role-playing game situation, right? Where, where, like, stats are making a big point of branching your, like, experience, right? Anyway, anyway. I, the body's condition was consistent with Rad Scorpion poisoning. I think he died because his jet was poisoned, not because of an overdose. Rad Scorpion. Renesco suddenly freezes, as if remembering something. You son of a bitch. You poisoned the kid, didn't you? You know something about it, don't you? Never mind. I had some other questions. Forget it. I have to be going now. You know something about it, don't you? Whoa, now wait just a minute. Don't mess with me, Renesco. You try and weasel out of this one and you'll be joining Richard. Understand? That's it. Me and Mr. Wright are going to have a little talk. Good day, Renesco. Or should I say, goodbye. You try and weasel out of this one and you'll be joining Richard. Understand? 
Wait a minute. Look, I didn't sell it to the kid. He never bought anything from me. I was asked to make some jet laced with rad scorpion venom. But but I didn't sell it to the kid. You were asked to make poison jet? For who? Who did you sell it to? For who? Oh. The Salvatores requested it. They said it was a special order. I didn't know that they were going to give it to the right kid. You have to believe me. I don't poison kids. Just adults, huh, Renesco? You sorry son of a bitch. Why did you poison the jet? You had to know they were going to kill someone with it. I mean, maybe intimidation, right? Like, <laughs> like if they come to you with an offer like that, like, if you refuse... Aren't you dead, <laughs> right? They're they're like a very powerful crime family, right? I don't know. Like you're like you have a it's it's one of those situations where you have a choice, but do you really? <laughs> all right, all right. I believe you. I had some other questions. Just shut up. Look, I had some other questions. The Salvatores, huh? I think Mr. Wright will want to know about this. Why did you poison the jet? You had to know they were going to kill someone with it. The Salvatores own me. They own this place. And when they want something, I give it to them. Or they'll kill me and have me replaced. I never meant any harm to that boy. All right, all right. I believe you. I had some other questions. Just shut up. Look, I had some other questions about you. Yeah, I'm sure that you, I'm sure you had the best of intentions while you were spiking that jet with poison. Goodbye, Renesco. Later, Renesco. I'm surprised there's not an option here for you to fight him again. Right? Like, I don't want to take it, but I'm surprised. All right, all right. I believe you. Had some other questions. Hmm. Hang on. Never mind. Let's do a quick save, and then let's collect the tribute. I've come to collect uh, Mr. Salvatore's tribute. Then you wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore his tribute two weeks ago. As per the schedule, I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but you aren't getting one red chip from me. Get. Look, Gramp, stop giving me a hard time. Cough up the chips or you'll be coughing up blood. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative. You will give me the tribute I have asked for, and you will do so now. I'll check with Mr. Salvatore about the schedule. Then I'll be back. I am the representative. You lose your hearing, boy? I said I paid the tribute already. Two weeks ago. If you were really from Salvatore, you would know that. Now get. Look, last time. Hand over the chips. You are the one who has lost your hearing. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative, and you will pay the tribute. I warned you, Gramps. Looks like looks like we're doing this the hard way. I'll check with Mr. Salvatore about the tribute. Then I'll be back. Hmm. I mean, definitely if we go back to Mr. Salvatore empty-handed, he's gonna be pissed. But how much do I mind, really? You know, how much do I really mind? Hmm. It is funny that we're <laughs> how wishy-washy we're being with all this. Right? We're just we're just like constantly playing both sides of the like overarching uh, power struggle. Okay. You will pay the tribute. Let's go with that. Prove you're from Salvatore, and I'll consider giving you the chips. Else, you aren't getting shit. I do not need to prove myself. I am his representative, and that is all you need to know. If you do not give me the tribute in five seconds, I will kill you. I'll check with Mr. Salvatore and the tribute. Then I'll be back. Should we just be forceful? I mean, we know threat of death works. Right? Let's do it. If you don't do it, I'll kill you. Hmm. Don't matter. I can't pay. 
The last collection nearly wiped me out. This is not my concern. You will get me the money now. Mr. Salvatore does not want to hear your excuses. I warned you. Time to die. I'll check with Mr. Salvatore about the tribute. Then I'll be back. That is not my concern. Threatening me ain't gonna help. Mr. Salvatore wants his money. I don't have it. He'll be mad at me, but he'll be mad at you too. Salvatore doesn't like people who let him down. You better figure something out quick. Hmm. What if we say, I warned you, time to die? Will, will that scare him so much? Well then, it's time to die. Oh. <laughs> I actually will have to... <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Fucking A. Alright, good thing we quick saved, huh? Okay, let's go back. Alright, good. So we can still talk to him. Maybe we'll leave this quest hanging, right? Because already, I feel very wishy-washy about doing any of these, like, crime family quests, you know? I'm unsure about the whole prospect. Alright. Let's see, let's check with her. Is Father Tully- oh, Father Tully is awake. Can we super inspect again? Okay. He looks like he's tipped back a few wet ones. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Wright. You see Mrs. Wright. She looks crushed. Uh, Ethel, are you okay? So, what did you find? Aha! Was I right or was I right? I'm sorry. I'll be back. Aha! Was I right or was I right? All true. Everything you said was true. Sighs. The still was not dismantled. Not at all. Frowns. I trusted that man, but alcohol made him lie to me. Lie to his own wife. Let her vent. Oh yes, Ethel. Further proof of the evil of alcohol. It can make people do terrible things. Especially when the twin devils of money and power are involved. You may need some time alone. I'll be back later. <laughs> Let's let her vent. Smolders. I will make him keep the promise he made. If I have to destroy that still with my own hands, then Orville and I shall have words. We'll see what that little weasel says then. Now let me handle it. It's beneath the train station, right? I'll take care of it. Good idea. Maybe you should go destroy this still. I'll be back later then. Ooh. We could do it ourselves or have her do it. I mean, I think obviously if we do it, we're going to get in deep shit. But what happens if we let her do it? Like, how much, how much stake do I really have in her safety? Upon reflection, I got to say, not much. <laughs> right? Not much. Yeah, maybe you should go destroy the still. Got 500 XP. You have convinced Mrs. Wright to destroy the stills. I will, by tarnation. Rolls up sleeves. To your surprise, she has arms like a weightlifter. Thank you for opening my eyes, stranger. I'll put my husband back on the straight and narrow, even if it kills him. Well, have some fun storming the castle. Holy shit, there she goes. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the fuck all that's going to lead. All right. Father Tully, what's up? You're awake. Greetings, my son. What's it Father Tully can do for you on this fine, fine Reno night? Uh, it's actually daytime, Father. Who are you? Are you drunk? Nothing. Sorry to bother you. It's actually daytime, Father. Oh, unless you overslept. Would have noticed uh, otherwise. What the hell was I saying? Who are you? Father Tully, at your service. I'm the spiritual advisor to the good p well, the people of New Reno. Is being drunk the only way that you can accomplish that? I had some questions about New Reno. I see. 
Well, thanks for talking with me. Is being drunk the only way you can accomplish that? Certainly not. In the past, I was known to indulge in the spirits, but the temperance union has helped me break the filthy habit. The temperate... Oh, I did... Break the... The temperate... Now I'm gonna be straight. Now I'm on a straight and narrow. Thanks to Mrs. Wright. Bless her soul. I've been clean for almost a uh, month. Or was it a week? I, I don't know. A week might be pushing it. Say, I had some questions for you. Dry as sand, huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Temperance Union. Mrs. Wright? Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. How many fingers am I holding up? Stares at your hand. That's six. There's a three. Very good. Both of those are right. Say, I had some questions. Questions? I can't say I know too much about them, but that's the way. Have you heard of Vault 13? Vault 13? No idea. Well, I mean, there's Vault City in the Northeast. Uh, what you're looking for, maybe? <laughs> say, uh... Yes? Pardon me for asking. Do you happen to have a bottle on you? I need some for the surfaces. <laughs> My throat's a little dry. Not on me, I'm afraid. I could go snag some if you want. Maybe I'll come back when you're a little drier. I could go snag some if you want. Now there's a fine idea. Maybe you'd be... May you be thrice blessed. <laughs> I happen to know a place on the east side at the old train station that sells the kind of holy water I need. Okay, I'll go get some, but I'll need some chips to buy it. Okay, I'll go get some. Be right back. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. Sure, give me some money. Of course, of course. Chips, chips. Where do I keep the chips? His eyes turned to the poor box beside the podium. Ah, well, I don't know why I didn't think of this one before. Hold on a minute. Patiently wait for him to make the withdrawal from the poor box. Uh, never mind, father. This one's on me. Never mind, this one's on me. Okay. Well, I think we have some on Cassidy right now, right? There we are. Yeah, which one... What's his poison? There we are. Cool. Say I brought you some hooch, Father. Can we talk for a moment? <laughs> well, now, most certainly. Takes bottle. Don't usually touch this stuff, you know. Takes a deep drink. Ah, sorry, what was I saying? You were talking about Family Bishop. You were talking about Family Wright. You were talking about Family Mordino. You were talking about Family Salvatore. You were talking about Richard Wright's death. I'll come back when you're sober. Do we think someone confessed? You were talking about Richard Wright's death? That poor boy. Jet took him from his family, it did. The damnable stuff. Worst mind poison ever made. Do you know where Richard got the jet that killed him? Jet? Do you know where Richard got it? He could have got it from anyone in New Reno. There's a pharmacy just across the street run by a drug dealer. And if he's not selling, stop and ask anyone on the street. Damn Jet. I had some other questions. The pharmacy across the street. I'll check it out. Thanks for talking with me, Father. And he doesn't have anything new to say about it. All right. Oh. Hmm. Father Tully glances at the now empty bottle in his hands. Say, don't mean to impose, friend. Would you happen to have another bottle of that fine vintage on you? All this talking is making me parched. Uh, sure, here you go. I don't know what we gave him. Maybe it's just any works. Okay, how about Bishop? Eh, the bishops, right? Uh, power hungry, there's a lot of them. It's in the blood. Saying his old John Bishop is so concerned about taking over everything. He ain't taking care of business at home. 
business at home. Don't give two seconds to his wife and daughter. No wonder both of them have grown up wild. <laughs> All comes out in the confessional, you know. Oh, what does Mr. Bishop say in the confessional? On what does Mrs. Bishop say in the confessional? On what does Bishop's daughter say in the confessional? Can we ultimately get all of these? Oh, and what does Mr. Bishop say in the confessional? Well, not much, but I hear things outside the confessional about old Bishop. Crafty devil. Got iron balls, he does. Must clink when he walks. I figure he's behind those raids on Walt City. You heard about those? No. Yes. Father, keep it down. That kind of talk could get you killed in this town. Look, maybe I'll come back when you're sober. Yeah, I have heard about those. Ignores you. See, a few months back, old Bishop sends a caravan to Vault City, suggesting a marriage of convenience between Vault City and New Reno. I trust they didn't reach an agreement? <laughs> Old City told him to stick it up his poop shoot. So, not long after, Old City starts getting raided. Fast, hard, all oh, and all the while, there is Bishop telling him, I could help if you join with New Reno. So blackmails Bishop's game. A few raids, a few deaths, and Vault City might be ready to be friends with New Reno. Not too subtle, but effective. What else can you tell me about the bishops? The bishops, right. Uh, okay, at home. Okay, what does Mrs. Bishop say in the confessional? Mostly what you'd expect from a neglected wife, you know, is a body whose curves could cure the blind. Mostly adultery. I mean, have you seen her rack? My word. Uh, what else can you tell me about the bishop's father? Okay. What does bishop's daughter say in the confessional? Oh, sweet little Angela. Little hellion, more like it. Girl's got too much uh, devil in her britches. Always floozying around, banging her father's help and pumping herself full of jet. This sounds like a great family. What else can you tell me about the bishops? I guess we may as well give them a jet question mark. Devil's blood. Wickedness. Foul secretion from the very teat of evil. So you don't like jet then? Uh, yes. Teat of evil. Can I ask you some other questions, father? All right then. Talk to you later, Father. So, you don't like Jet, then? That drug'll be the death of us. Can't think of another drug. Drinks, belches. It does more damage than Jet. Kills the mind and the body. Damn Mordinos. What was that about the Mordinos? The Mordinos? Holds up three fingers. There's two of them. Holds hand up high. Big Jesus. Holds hand down low. And little Jesus. Father and son. They control the drugs in the whole... Whole men in Reno. Tell me about Big Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> Tastes one bad mother. <gasps> Takes a swig, swishes it around in his cheeks. Deals in slaves. Jet and whores. Only person worse than him is his filthy son. His son? So Jesus Mordino Sr. controls most of the drugs and whores in New Reno. Great family. Can I ask some other questions, Father? Like father like son, well, thanks for talking with me. His son? Little Jesus? <laughs> Bastard. He's like a prairie tick sucking blood from his dad's work be trouble for all arena if he took charge can hold it together drugs whores all fall down tell me about big jesus the mordinos are the source of drugs and most of the whores in new reno yes smiles licks lips 
Whores. <laughs> Begins stroking neck of the bottle. Uh, father, uh, about the drugs? Huh? Drugs, yeah, drugs. Jet. Filthy jet. Do horrible things with it. Horrible. Redding, stables. Takes a swig. All for gold. Jet? What about Redding? What about the stables? What about Redding? Make a, makes a walking motion with his two fingers. Jet leaves town, goes to Redding. Gold leaves Redding, goes to Mordino. Takes a swig. Miners die, Mordinos lie. What were you saying about the stables? Mordinos have a farm outside of town. Keep slaves there. Test jet on them. Kills them in droves. Shudders. Only the Mordinos know where the stables are. Hmm. Will we him with jet question mark again? Okay. Some other questions. Yep, here we go. Here's more booze. Okay, how about Salvatore? This is the last group we we don't know about. Oh. Oh, he's saying actually a different line, I think, every time. <laughs> Damn kind of you. Takes bottle. Don't usually drink this much, you know. Takes a long swig. <laughs> Sorry. What was I saying? You were talking about Salvatore, family Salvatore. I was talking about the Salvatores. Blinks, shrugs, and drinks. Can't imagine what I was saying. Family's as silent as death. And you don't want to cross them either. Know why? No. Yes. Don't really need to know why right now, Father. Can I ask you some other questions? No. Lumbers on drunkenly. Because they got weapons like fires from heavens. Weapons no one's ever seen before in New Reno or nowhere. Shoot beams of light. Cut a man in two. Leave him twitching in the dust shoot beams of light huh where the fuck did they get all that I did not realize they were known for that shoot beams of light can I ask you some other questions father wow maybe I should try and get a hold of one well thanks for taking talking with me shoot beams of light one of them light bringers can kill a dozen men other families used to fight with the Salvatores, but now no one messes with them. It's a piece of sorts. Good, as long as it holds out, I suppose. Who's in charge of the Salvatores, Father? Louis. Louis. Salvatore runs the show. Maybe it's Louis. Maybe it's, maybe it's actually read as Louis, then. The way that that's written out. Drains bottle, coughs slightly. Cripple needs an oxygen tank to keep breathing. His lungs are messed up. Says in the stays in the top floor of his establishment never comes out. Interesting. Can I ask you some other questions, Father? Hmm. Tank of oxygen, huh? Interesting. Well, thanks for talking with me, Father. Okay. Can I ask you some other questions? Okay, yeah, I don't have any more drinks on me. All right, no harm in asking, so, uh, I'm sorry, who are you again? You know, I could go snag some hooch for you if you want. Okay, yeah. Sure, I'll be right back. Hmm. Wasn't he in front of this bookcase that we couldn't get into? I can't remember. Nah, I'm tripping balls. So he'll just take any kind of drink. I wonder if something happens if we bring him uh, enough drinks for every conversation topic. Because we did hear every conversation topic, but we shorted him one drink because we were able to, um, uh, like, somehow transition from talking about one family to talking about another without providing a drink in between. All right, well, how do we want to handle this Renesco situation with the money? I don't know. 
we could we could also go look at the still situation right or we could go check in with the Mordinos right or no the Salvatores again yeah let's go check in with the Salvatores once more because we do know that they're tied to Richard Wright in some way okay bartender bill who is bill really okay heard any good rumors just was for you to shut up and let him drink okay there we go you collect the tribute yet i forgot what this guy even sounds like there's so many characters active right now uh got it here's the money where was I supposed to collect from again? Renesco's giving me shit. Says he gave two weeks ago. And I shouldn't have to pay for another month. And he shouldn't have to pay for another month. Almost. I'll have it next time, Mason. Renesco's giving me shit. Mason's eyes narrow. So friggin' what? You tell him who you work for? Yes. Well, no. Almost. I'll have it next time. Yes. Then did you show him who you work for? Show him? What, I gotta hold your hand. Easiest damn thing in the world. And you come crying to me. Mason, Mason, so-and-so ain't paying his tribute. Now hold on. Grow some balls, boy, and take care of it. I'll take care of it then. Thanks, Mason. You've been a big help. All right, I'll take care of it. Hold on a minute there, Speedy. I'll make this real clear so you can understand. Don't talk to me again until you get that money from Renesco. Or you're going to make me mad. Now do your job. All right, all right. Can we still go in the back room or is he going to get pissed if I interact with the door? Yeah, he got pissed. Okay. Hmm. So how should we get the money from Renesco then? Maybe we do actually have to like punch him. Do we actually need to rough him up? Let's give it a shot. Let's navigate the dialogue again. Okay, I'm here for the tribute. Look, Graham, stop giving me a hard time. Cough up the chips or you'll be coughing up blood. All right, pay the tribute. Let's see. You're the one who has lost your hearing. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative, and you will pay the tribute. Okay, consider giving you... Else you aren't getting shit. Let's see. You got five seconds. All right, I warned you. He says, oh yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. <laughs> what the fuck? What if we kill him? You see an old man with a pair of huge garish glasses. He sighs irritatedly as you watch. Oh my gosh. Am I going to have to kill him? Are we going to like end combat at some point and get interrupted? Or am I actually going to kill him? Well, we killed him. <laughs> Well, we killed him. Renesco the Rocket Man was killed. All right. What can you do? Look, he didn't even have the money on him. Okay. Man, maybe we should have just paid it ourselves. Okay, let's see where this goes, though. I don't feel good about killing him. We'll just see what happens. All right. Up here. I think we were able to have a choice to pay for him. As soon as he sees you, Mason sneers. Just a dumb motherfucker I was looking for. You can't collect tribute from dead people. S reaches for his weapons. You are... You done screwed up, but good. Uh, yeah, well, I was getting tired of you anyway. No, you're the one who's done screwed up, but good. You hear me, Mason? You're the one who's done screw- 
Oh yeah, they got the lasers, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do a load because they don't want us to do that either. Weird, yeah. I wonder how you're meant to do it then. Because you can't actually go fight him. Huh. Let's see. I want the tribute. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Look, last time, hand over the chips. Get the hell out of here, you penny ante thug. You so much as show your face in here again, I'll shoot you myself. Time to die. No, because we can't actually kill him. We have to threaten him enough. I'm not sure. Is it? Maybe he would have surrendered, but we just got unlucky and Cassidy just blew his fucking head apart. Okay. Let's see. You're going to be coughing up blood. All right. You're hearing. I am the representative. That's not my concern. Okay. I warned you. Okay. Let's see. We hit him for 25. Can I end combat? Can I somehow talk to him without killing him? No. Man, I have no idea how to collect it then. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I was thinking it would be maybe like Morrowind. You know, where you have to like rough somebody up and then they stop you like moments before you end up actually killing them. You're like, oh shit, I'll give you whatever you want. Hmm. Maybe we're just meant to steal shit from them, right? I don't know. Hang on, let's go back real quick back to um, Salvatore's and let's see if we can actually just give them money. And say that it's from Renesco. Because I don't feel right about even taking the money from him anyway. Alright, up here. Uh, got it. Here's the money. Mason nods, seems disappointed. Heh, <laughs> thought we'd bled old Renesco of his last time. Alright then, we'll take it into the boss. Frowns. Go on now. Oh, Really? Is that what I should do? Thanks, Mason. Without you, I wouldn't know how to get from place to place. Sheesh, idiot. All right. Okay. Huh. So now we do have access to Louie again. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess when next we come back, we have to sort out this whole crime family situation, right? I kind of do want to kill just all of them. And we may not even have to kill the Wright family because it sounds like Mrs. Wright is actually maybe about to do that. I don't, I don't know, right? We definitely know of a clear way that we can fuck up um, the Mordinos, right? We have the toxic gas. I'm not sure about Salvatore, right? I'm not sure about that. I guess, I guess we'll see. We'll keep it um, all tentative, right? I'm, I'm also wondering, like, if we go too deep into their quests, is it going to, like, negatively impact our karma in some way as well? Because that would make sense to me. But I'm not sure, like, do we get feedback whenever that happens? I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. And it's high, high day, the army's on its way.